right, well, let's get this show started because TV stars were in the spotlight yesterday at the Primetime Emmys where we saw some truly award-worthy red carpet looks. So we're going to kick off the show today with our best dressed of last night's show. So, Jess, who caught your eye? You know who caught my eye? She always catches my eye is Ayo Edebiri. She didn't win an Emmy last oh, night. She yeah. lost to Jean Smart from Hacks. But she's a true winner in this custom Bottega. It almost looks like mosaic. You know, yeah. like a shiny mosaic pattern. Or I saw so one person compared to, you know those um, carp sort, sort of decorative fishes that you see in fish ponds? It kind of looked like that. Koi fish? The way that it <laughs> yeah. Some koi, koi fish. Some koi fish. Yeah. That's what they're yes, called, koi does. fish. Thank you for that koi. I, I just said that. what Mel said louder. But, <laughs> just so she comes from the stand-up world and she is always very honored to be dressed up and to get to play she's used to wearing like oversized pants oversized shirts and then she recognizes that she gets to dress up for a living so she's always just so thrilled and happy she was also my almost my risk taker though because if you look down, you if you've watched the show, you know I have a problem oh. with this. This is called a cliffhanger, where the toes <laughs> touch the carpet. I, I get very upset about it. I don't know what it is. It, it, it creates outrage in me. But Io gets a pass because she's always so smiling. Yeah. Yeah. She's always just so happy to be there. Yeah, so who's looking at those cliffhangers when? <laughs> Good point. Not me. I didn't go? look at the cliffhangers. Thank so, you. I, I like to come on the social because. I get to dress up and I have to match you ladies when I come Aww. out here. And you look and very I'm always handsome. so nervous so to wear nice. the clothes Looks that I sad. have, but thank you. Uh, for me, I thought Matt Bomer looked really great. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. um, and Jonathan oh. Bailey as well. Here they are together. Ooh. You know, men's fashion is so reductive sometimes. If you just wear any kind of tuxedo, everyone says, yeah, you did the minimum. But I thought they, like, did a classic look, the both of them, that stands yeah. out, you know? Also, I just wanted to pick the most handsome men that were at the Emmy. Yeah. So I Came up and Jonathan Bailey looks cool. Like, look, he looks so like uh, like laid back and sexy, and yet it's a bold look with the shirt as well. Oh yeah, and the super high waistline. Yeah, Ooh, I I could pull that I'm still trying to get over him and bring like him. That's high. That yeah. reminds me of Patrick Swayze, you know, in Dirty yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. when he does that so move, true. which I will not do. Yeah, yeah. I, I'll do the move after the show. Yes, okay. thank you. I'd love to see <laughs> that. I'd love um, to see. I went with Canadian icon Catherine O'Hara. Oh. like hand embroidered embroidered couture. She looks stunning. Her stylist is just killing it. She has been everywhere, this woman, for the last few weeks. She was in Venice for the premiere of Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. She was, of course, in Toronto for the premiere of Wild Robot. Now she's back doing the Emmys. Now, I do have to say, though, I couldn't help but notice that this dress bore an awful lot of a resemblance to the dress that Jennifer Aniston oh, was wearing yeah, also yeah, yeah, last yeah. night. Yeah. Look, also by uh, uh, Oscar uh, de Lorenta. They are similar and yet different. Anyway, I'm just nodding that out. I'm just still not. I can't, have you ever shown up to an event where you're just like, oh, I guess yeah. I, I, hopefully I won't be in the same room as that person yeah. because yeah. wearing yeah. the same thing. The but feud yeah. starts here today. Yes. Ah, there you go. Let's, <laughs> you know, you know. <laughs> Let's start a rumor. Yeah. Catherine and Jennifer hate each other. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. I know it's I'm close. just kidding. No, no, no. Just all good, kidding. All good. Beautiful. Both of them. Both of them. Absolutely yeah. stunning. Yeah, great choices. Uh, for me, yesterday, not only did she look amazing, maybe she inspired my color today of my dress a little bit. She's the first Asian woman to ever win the leading actress for a drama series ever in the history of the Emmys, Anna Sawai. All right? So this stunning dress, it's a custom Vera Wang. And if you're like, who is this girl? Don't worry. I'm with you. Because she stars in a show that maybe has been off the radar, maybe just for me, but it made history last night. The show is Shogun. It's on FX Hulu. And it had a record 25 nominations. It won 18 of them. Wow. Wow. OK? Including including for Best That's Lead impressive. Actress. And her co-star uh, in the film, who is uh, Hiroyuki Sanada, was also the first Japanese man to ever win, also yeah. lead actor in his category. And it won for the Best Show, Best Drama Series. And she is, like, just hit the scene with fashion. She was everywhere at Fashion Week across the world. So this is where, again, we always say fashion can put you on the map, but clearly she clearly has a lot of talent behind it as well. So yeah. 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 To her. Yeah. So just good. stunning. Just All right. Hey, you, come a bit closer. We've got so many more must-see interviews, spicy debates, lifestyle tips, and pop culture moments. So subscribe to our channel by tapping the logo below and don't miss out.